Good morning. Um, my name is Maruti, and this morning I have the joy of breaking the bread of life with you. Stay tuned as we discover the good things that the Lord has for us this beautiful Wednesday morning. You know, um, uh, recently I had uh, the privilege of attending a meeting, and uh, in that meeting, one of the people who was there was, was my, uh, our CEO, and she made a comment. She made a very interesting comment that it seemed that the people who are succeeding the most had made a particular declaration about their goal at the beginning of the year. I found that interesting. They had made a particular declaration about that goal and they seemed to be having the best results up to that point and time in the performance of the organization. Isn't that interesting? And you know what I remembered? That there is this scripture in Genesis and if you allow, allow me, I'll, 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 I'll just read it out to you. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was within that form and void. And the Spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, let there be light. God said, let there be light. You know what's interesting? God says, the very first thing God says at the beginning of shaping eternity, he says, let there be be light. He says something. He speaks something into the darkness and the absence of form that he was confronted with. And you see that God says in verse 3, let there, and verse 3, let there be light. In verse 6, it says, and God said. When you go to verse 9, it says, and God said. When you go to verse 11 of Genesis again, and God says, and you skip saying, God said, and God said, and God said, and God said, and you know what's interesting? In uh, verse 31, he says, And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. What God wanted to see, he spoke. What God wanted to see, he spoke. Isn't that interesting? And you know what? How you shape your day, part of how you shape your day is what you speak. What do you speak into your day? What do you speak into your day? You can be your own prophet. You can be your own prophet. God gave you a mouth. You know, a mouth is not just for eating. <laughs> it's not just for eating. A mouth is also for uttering, for shaping eternity. If God with a mouth shaped eternity, you with your mouth, you can shape your day. What do you say at the beginning of the day? And let me tell you, if you do not take the trouble to shape your day, at the beginning of the day, other people will shape the day for you. Circumstances will shape the day for you. I just shared to you, with you, what my CEO said. Is it not interesting that people who made this particular declaration about the goal they want to achieve are the ones who have achieved the best results in the organization? They are not, this is not even a believer statement. This was just a statement made in the company. You know what I realized? That what we say works for us. It doesn't matter where you are. It matters not where you are. It matters not your circumstances. It matters not that your earth, the place where you are, is without form and void. Speak into that lack of form. Speak into that lack of void. And speak what you want to see. What God wanted to see, that is what he spoke. What do you want to see? I mean, we are having difficult challenges. There are, I mean, there are all kinds of bad reports coming out. There are all kinds of these horror stories coming out. You know, businesses are shutting. Jobs are going, there are job cuts, there are, there are the salary cuts. There's all kinds of disruption. But you know what? You can choose to speak into your day. You know one thing I also observed, very interesting, during the Great Depression, you know what they realized? Very interesting statistic, that people's mortality rate, people's, people's life expectancy went up. Who would have known? Can you imagine? the health index of the average American went up during the Great Depression. Can I tell you, it's not always what it seems to be. Don't just believe any story. Don't just embrace everything that's coming off the media or the social media. Speak back. What do you want to see? What do you want to declare? And I can tell you, you can start changing your world. You can start changing and shaping your world by what you say in the morning. Take the trouble. Take the trouble. Take the trouble to shape your day. Don't be careless with your word. Don't be a, your own prophet of doom. Don't be the one who buries yourself for heaven's sake. Speak life to your life. Speak life to your situation. Speak life to your business. Speak life to your organization. Speak life to the environment. Speak life to your city. Speak life to your nation. 
What do you want to see? Speak that. What do you want to see? Speak that. What do you want to see? Ensure that you speak that. And let me tell you, as you speak that, God is committed to ensuring that he shapes your world. He shapes your world. That's his character. He shapes your world. Thank you so much for staying with us uh, to the end. And, um, you know, I just want to make a simple prayer as, as we conclude, you know. And uh, let me tell you that even as you speak into your word, it makes more sense when you have a relationship with God. Otherwise, I mean, what's the purpose of this? Who backs you spiritually? Who backs you up spiritually? It has to be God. Take the time to connect to the God that spoke and saw what he spoke. Take the time to do that. This world, you cannot live without spiritual alignment. You cannot live this world. You cannot conduct life without a spiritual cover. You are cheating yourself. Nobody does that. It's foolishness. It's an error. Don't fall into that error. And as we conclude, let me just make a prayer for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the people who are listening and watching me this, this Wednesday morning. I say that, Lord, let them have the wisdom. Let them have the courage to speak life, to speak life, to speak prosperity, to speak thriving into the circumstances, into the situation. It does not matter that what they're seeing is darkness. It does not matter that their world is without form. Let them speak life. And in your, in, in your life, my friend, in your life, my friend, I speak life, I speak thriving, I say it is well with you. And God so very richly bless you. Thank you so much for staying with us. I wish you a very beautiful Wednesday morning as you speak life into your day. And please ensure you follow us. You can, you can find us online on facebook and on youtube we are known as hikima center find us there and i'm sure you'll be richly blessed god bless you thank you very much